Behind me is the best nerdy pop culture geeky shop in the entire country, the entire world maybe. Forbidden Planet, it's the flagship central London Forbidden Planet store. And we are gonna go and do a good old fashioned toy hunt and rummage. Now I'm not really supposed to film in there, so I'm probably gonna be whispering and trying to keep the camera quite subtle, but uh, we've done this before and it was fun. So fingers crossed we can get in there and have a little look to see what they've got for us. And of course we have to start off with an awesome look at the awesome window, complete with a bat wing, which I don't think Anna's gonna let me get away with bringing home. But there's always so many fun things and goodies in here for me. Ooh, Pokemon. We always have all of these very expensive collectibles on the way in here. So the way it works, we've got toys and collectibles on this floor and then downstairs, comic books. Wow, we've actually got the New Japan wrestling figures in there. Might get myself an Okada for the collection, which would be very cool. I don't think I've seen wrestling figures in here before. So we've got a load of Star Trek stuff around here. Some Transformers, which young Kev would be all over some Transformers. They are very cool. And then the pop vinyl's kind of a spread out amongst different media properties. So we've got all the Star Wars ones here and then different film and TV ones over there. And they're kind of scattered around the store. But we've got turtles, more turtles. And then I don't even know what this is. What are we looking at here? It's a Ghostbusters thing. House of the 100 Corpses. Wow, so many Masters of the Universe figures. I saw a Castle Grayskull in a game closing down sale yesterday. As a kid, I would have been all over this stuff. These are awesome. What I'd actually quite like is one of the original style Battle Cats, but they don't seem to have one, which is a little bit of a shame. A few little mystery bag deals and then Avatar, Lord of the Rings, so more TV and movie stuff here. A load of Avatar stuff. I've not really seen Avatar stuff knocking around in here before. But there's, uh, there's a lot of it. And then we've got some Power Rangers over here, some G.I. Joe. Don't even know what these are. Some kind of uh, figure of some kind all the anime stuff. This is all a little bit beyond me. I'm not really an anime guy. I've watched the odd one from time to time, but definitely not my uh, not my usual cup of tea. Although the figures are quite cool, but I just don't know what any of this stuff is really in this section. <laughs> what we have got is a few more pop vinyls, again, spread out according to genre so these are all of your anime pop vinyls and then more little figures and things here including a naruto baseball cap so moving into more of the tvs and film stuff again we've got nightmare before christmas not really the right time yet for that and more stuff that no no idea and then we're into Harry Potter. This Harry Potter stuff has been in this part of this shop for years. Well, it looks like there's a little bit less of it than there has been previously. That's quite a cool set, if you like that kind of thing. And then we've got some music ones. That Cindy Lauper one is quite cool. As a wrestling fan, we'd quite like a Cindy Lauper. Um, but they've got whole bands. There's Def Leppard down at the bottom there. 
and that is quite cool. Having been around all the Beatles museums and things last weekend to see the, uh, the yellow submarine as a little collectible figure is awesome. And then we're into Disney. So loads and loads of Disney stuff. If you like me nosing through Disney toys, I have a whole video I went to every shop at Disneyland in one day, which is well worth a, uh, well worth a check. And then what have we got up here then? Video game stuff. So we've got some Pokemon bits. I've noticed more and more of these around lately, which I've not really seen in shops before, but they seem to be, seems to be a real wave of these little Pokemon figures at the moment. We've got a Zelda one up there. Anna's told me to be on the lookout for any Amiibos. I don't know if this is going to be the place to find Amiibos, but she's been enjoying the Amiibos linking up with the, uh, the new Zelda game. So if we see anything amiibo -y, we might have to make a purchase. So much Five Nights at Freddy's stuff, which I wouldn't necessarily expect to see. What have we got around here? Oh wow, they've got Invincible figures. See, Invincible is cool. I would be very tempted by those. We've got the Witcher down at the bottom there as well. And some massive Warhammer 40,000 figures. And then Marvel around here. In fact, Dungeons and Dragons stuff over this side. So again, we've got figures merch, pop vinyls for D&D, &D, and then all of your Marvel stuff, of which there is a lot, as you can imagine. Marvel stuff everywhere. Ooh, we've got some Marvel Legends over here as well, which I always try and avoid. I don't want to start a Marvel Legends collection. That being said, I do already have that mighty Thor in my office. So I've already broken my own rule. That Miss Marvel is quite cool. Are we buying Marvel Legends today? Maybe we're buying Marvel Legends today. Now I do traditionally like the discount stand. It doesn't seem to be anything here for me today, but you do occasionally find some very cool bargains just lurking around in this section. And we have t-shirts, loads of Stranger Things stuff over there. And plush things. Not really into Stranger Things. Star Trek is here as well. And these pins, I've been seeing these more and more. Anna got one of these the other day. I hadn't really noticed these be a thing before, but they are cool. And a lot cheaper than Anna paid for one in Tesco. So, I mean, those Turtles ones are $4.99. Some of these ones are 14 so I guess it depends on what style you want, but those turtles ones are awesome. I don't know what I'd do with a massive pin like that, but they exist. More t-shirts and things here. And posters. And then we are pretty much done upstairs. And we can head downstairs into the comic books. So if we head down here into our little underground dungeon where you can't get a phone signal the biggest section of comic books in one place I've ever seen. So they always have the uh, the featured stuff and the charts down here at the bottom of the stairs. So it's a good place to get an idea of what's new. If you're a little bit out of touch like I am, don't really follow comics anymore. Other than picking bits up here and there. When I come here, they've even got magazines in here now. And then they usually have stuff that's connected to recent movies or TV shows in this little spotlight section. Which again is worth, uh, worth a nose to see what we can grab out of it. So stuff related to the current Guardians of the Galaxy film, for example. Got a few Spider-Man bits as well. Which obviously we've got the new Spider-Man movie out. And some classics as well. Classics. And then it really is just a case of rummaging. As you can see, there is just so much rummaging to do. 
it's all sort of loosely alphabetical order for graphic novels over there. We're not going to go through and look at every shelf, but you get the idea. There's a lot. And then we've got more of the manga over this way. Other collectible bits and bobs. Manga for young readers. And loads. There's more manga in here than graphic novels these days, which I guess reflects how people's tastes are changing. That's all manga around there as well. Manga, 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 manga. So much manga. If you can recommend a good manga for me to try, let me know down in the comments. I'm, uh, I've only ever really read Death Note and that's about it. I've not been able to get into anything else. And then um, get round here for single issues. Not a huge amount of these, but it's got all of the, uh, the latest releases. And then stuff to do with gaming. So board games, video game, tie-in books, and loads of cool board games and things at the back. Which is always good to have a little bit of a nose to find us some things to do in the hotel this evening. Always worth having a look to see if there's something to pick up. And then just so much. This is all like film and TV tie-in stuff. And then into just normal books that aren't full of pictures. Young adult for grown-ups, because there's no pictures in them. Obviously lots of sci-fi, fantasy, stuff like that in here. And it all kind of comes around in here as well. And then once we loop back around this corner, it brings us eventually back round to the staircase. So we can head back upstairs and complete our purchases. After maybe picking something up from there. And thus concludes my whistle stop tour of Forbidden Planet in London. Uh, purchase wise, all I actually got in there was the Pokemon TCG Scarlet and Violet Build and Battle Stadium. Um, I quite like these. I figured this could be a fun thing for me and Pam to do in our hotel this evening. You get two of the, uh, the 40 card decks, the promo decks that you get for the pre-release stuff, plus some packs to open, and a few other little bits that allow us to actually sit and play some Pokemon. Um, so not having any decks with me, that'd be quite a cool way for us to be able to play some Pokemon tonight. Plus get some more of the Scarlet and Violet cards open, which I've barely opened any cards from the, uh, the new set. So be nice to do that. I did buy a comic book today though, a little bit earlier on at a different shop down at Gosh Comics down the road. Um, I picked up Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow by Tom King. Um, if you want to see me tour around other comic shops, because we don't just do Forbidden Planet as part of our comic book tour when we're down here for Comic-Con. Um, so if you want to see me around some of the other comic book shops, let me know down in the comments where we should go. And if you want to see the London Comic-Con video, that is also available on the channel as well. So make sure you go and hunt that one out. Hopefully you have enjoyed this very old school kind of video for me. This is where it all began, doing these little toy hunts, sneaking around shops, having a look to see what we can find. So hopefully you did enjoy I certainly enjoyed doing one and managing to get around the whole shop without getting told off and barely having to do any sneaking. I was, I was just brazenly brandishing the camera in front of the staff by the end. I don't think they were that bothered today, which is awesome. Um, so if you want to see more stuff like this, let me know down in the comments. If you are new, make sure you subscribe for more stuff like this, but also travel vlogs, nerdy stuff, conventions. There's lots of cool stuff around the channel. Have a little explore while you're, while you're subscribing and turning your notification bell on. Like this one if you enjoyed it. And thank you very much for watching.